Welcome to Easy Lemu Learning Simplified. My name is Eric. I'll be taking you through the topic greatest common divisor and uh, we'll be looking at the GCD of uh, multiple numbers. So we will look at uh, uh, basically what is uh, so we will look at the, the meaning of uh, GCD and uh, we will uh, look at one of the methods of finding the GCD of a number called the listing method and then we look at we will also look at another method of finding the GCD of, a, of uh, numbers called uh, successive division method and then at the end of this at, at the end of the session we'll be able to give you some sample questions to help you with practice and uh, just to gauge your understanding of the concept So what is GCD? So GCD in full is greatest common divisor of two or more numbers. So what you're calling a divisor is a number that can divide into another without, I mean, exact number of times without leaving any remainder. For example, if you have four, you divide by two, the answer is is, is is two so you see here this two here is called the divisor of four the divisor of four because it divides into four i mean two divides into four exact number of times another one maybe you take something like six you divide by three the answer is two so you see this three here is considered a divisor of six it divides three divides into six exact number of times so this one here is considered to be a divisor you can also call it a factor it's a factor of six so why common so if you 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 write four and then six so we have two numbers here we have number a which is equals to four we have number b number b which is equals to six and then you try to list their divisors or their factors you start from one one can divide into four four times then you go to two, two can divide into four, two times. And then of course, even the same number, it can divide into itself once. So even uh, four is a factor of four because it can divide into four ones. If you look at the divisors of six, we have one, one divides into six, six times. You look at, uh, I mean, uh, two, two is a device of six. It can divide into six three times and then of course you have three and then six itself is also a divisor so we are looking at these divisors and then there is this word that has been used here common so why do we call it common so if you pick a number like four and then a number like six and then you are looking at their divisors then we are finding out which of these devices are common are, are found in both cases the devices that are here and they're also here so for example if you start there is one and we have one those ones are common because we have one uh, as a factor in four and we also have one as a factor is, is in six so they are found in both and that's why we're using the word common common then we also have two which is a factor in six and then we also have two there so now common factors so we are, we are looking at the common devices see d here stands for devices so you can also use greatest common factor even this g here you can also use highest common factor or greatest common factor you know so div devices so we are talking about common devices we have one and then we have two those are the common devices if you have to find the common devices of four and six these are the ones but then there is this word here that has been used greatest greatest so if you list the common devices which one is the greatest so like in this case the greatest is two in this case we'll talk of greater because there are two only but now if there were uh, more than two you'd be talking of the greatest so in this case the greatest in this context would be interpreted to mean two here is the greatest of all and therefore g c d of four and six so you, you will only talk of gcd of two or more it cannot be one 
then if it is one then it's no longer it cannot be called greatest common so it will just be a device if it's just one number you'll just be talking of a device or a factor over that number but for you to talk about common it means you must be talking about two or more numbers so there could be two numbers there could be three four and so on and so forth so here we say the gcd of four and six is two so that is what you mean by the GCD of a number. Remember, it can also be called the highest common factor. Divisor here is just, its other name is a factor. So you can talk of the highest common factor or greatest common factor. Like in this case, we're talking about greatest common factor or greatest common divisor. So the greatest common divisor of two or more numbers is the greatest common factor that divides them exactly without leaving any remainder. And uh, it's also called highest common factor. You can see this term. So in some other literature material, you'll be coming across GCD. Some other ones you can also be coming, I mean, you can also be coming across the, the, the abbreviation there, HCF, to mean highest common factor. So if you're asked to find HCF of two numbers, you should not get confused. It still means the GCD of the given numbers, given set of numbers. So we have an example here where you are supposed to find the GCD of the following groups of numbers. So there are two, uh, there are uh, about three methods that we can use. Uh, we have uh, methods used to find GCD of numbers. So we have number one method, we have what is called the listing method. We are going to look at it during this session. Listing method, where you just list them and then from there you'll be able to gauge and see which one is the greatest of all. And then we have another one called successive, successive division method. And then this one, we look at it uh, during our next video. It's called prime factorization method. Prime factorization prime factorization method. So for this lesson, we are going to look at uh, listing method. Then we look at successive division. And then in our next video, we are going to look at prime factorization method. We're going to see how, how, you, how you go about that. So I'm going to try and use... Uh, the first and the second method during this video and then the next video we look at the other method of finding GCD. So let me use First of all, listing method, and then I will look at the successive division method. So listing method is where we just have the, we have the numbers, like four, that is the first number, and then I have uh, 18. So. If you list the factors of 4, we have 1, 2, and 4. Those are the numbers that can completely divide 4 without leaving any remainder. Then 18 here, we have 1, we have 2, we have 3, we have 6, we have 9, and we have 18. Then after listing the factors of each, so you list the factors of each, so these are the factors of each. Then now you go for the common factors. Common factors. So where are the common factors? Remember we are finding the greatest common divisor. So remember I said a divisor here, we can also use factors. It simply means the same thing. So common factors we have 
one. So we have one as a common factor here. We have two as a common factor, and actually that is all. So common factors, we only have one and two. Then now we check the greatest. So greatest. You know, we say greatest because there could be there could be more than two. So greatest common factor is two. So you can see we have one and two and the greatest is two. So this is called listing method where you simply list the factors, then you check the ones that are common, the, the factors that are common, and then you pick the greatest among them. So this is GCD. So you say GCD of eight uh, of uh, not eight but four and eighteen is two. So you simply list the, the factors the, and then you highlight the common factors and then you pick the greatest among the common factors that you've listed. So let's look at the other, I mean, using the other method called successive division to find the same thing. So I want to try and use, uh, I want to try and use successive division method. So using successive successive division method so you simply write 4 and then 18 then you draw this three column table so on this other table here I'll be using the prime factors so I'll be using the prime factors like now the first prime factor now as you pick the prime factors of both you know you must make sure that that prime factor that you are picking here is of both of them like it's a factor of four and this is a factor of the other number 18 like here the smallest and it's advisable that you start from the smallest as you climb up the ladder for example you start with two if two is not possible then you move to three if three is not possible you move to five huh? so here i'll start with two because two divides Four and two can also divide eighteen. So two goes into four uh, two times, and two divides eighteen nine times. Now you are supposed to continue with that division as long as you are able to find other prime factors that can be common. You know that can be a factor of this and can also be a factor of the other. So if that ceases to to be, then you stop. You see, you stop. Like for example here. We cannot find a prime factor that can be uh, a factor of two and can also be a factor of nine. So that means we stop. And then now, after that, you are going to find the GCD by multiplying the numbers that are here. You see? For example, if you continue, let's say this was three, you'd have multiplied two by three. Unfortunately, this ended at two. So you are supposed to multiply these two numbers here. So you this is how you'll frame the answer. You talk of GCD of 4 and 18 equals 2. Because now it's only 2, we can't multiply by any other number. Maybe that would make sense when we're now looking at this other one here. Maybe part B. So this is called successive division, where you just divide the numbers by the prime factors. And of course, you it's normally advisable that you start with the smallest prime factor. And Take note of what I have said that the, the factor, the prime factor here, should be a factor of both numbers. We are trying to find their common uh, divisor, so their greatest common divisor. So that is how we find the GCD of the numbers using successive division method. So let me move to B. B here. We'll still use listing method by listing 
method so we'll use this method first so by listing method so we'll have all the numbers uh, we have 12 there we have 24 and we have 48 so we list the factors here like the factors of 12 we have 1 we have 2 we have 3 we have 4 we have 6 and we have 12 so once you reach half halfway this then you know the next factor is going to be the number itself for example 24 here we have 1 we have 2 we have 3 we have 4 we have 6 we have 8 and then we have 12 and then of course once we are halfway then you know the next one is going to be 24 we also have 48 1 2 3 4 6 8 uh, we have 12 and then we have 16 and then we have 24 and of course 24 is half of 48 so the next one will be 48 so those are the factors so you proceed and try to so those are the factors and then now you're supposed to find the common factors so common factors and then we look at the greatest of all to be the greatest common factor so fact common factors we have one we have two we have three is common we have four is also common we have six is a common factor and of course that is the last one so from there you can even see the greatest common factor here there are six but there is no harm you list them first so we have one two three four and six so you pick gcd of 12 24 and 48 you simply list you can be able to see that this is the greatest six sorry so you can see that the greatest is six the greatest of all the common factors is six so that is how you find the GCD of the three numbers using the listing method. You simply list the common factors and then you pick the greatest uh, of all the common factors. So let me try and use the success solution method. Remember I said this session you're going to look at the two. That is listing method and successive division method. So let me try and use using successive division successive division method. So we have 12, 24, and 48. So you simply do exactly what we did in the previous example where you find the prime factors that are common to both i mean all in this case the three and normally it's advisable you start with the smallest prime factor for example here from the the our, our discussion on divisibility test you realize that all the numbers here are divisible by two two being the smallest prime number so all these numbers here are divisible by 2 because they are all ending in even numbers. So 2, so 12 divided by 2 is 6, 24 divided by 2 is 12, and 48 divided by 2 is 24. You can still, all, you can still see all the numbers there are still divisible by 2. So remember for GCD, as you find the GCD, the prime factor here must be a factor of all it has to be a factor of all of them. You can't just pick a factor of one or two of them and you leave one out. It has to be a factor of all. So if you cannot get a prime factor of all, then you stop and then you multiply the numbers on this first column here. So 2 divides into 6, 3. 2 divides into 12, 6 times. And 2 divides into 24, 12 times. And of course now, uh, 2 is not a common factor here. Because you can see 3 here is not divisible. It's not exactly divisible by 2. So here, 3 is most appropriate. So 3 divides into 3 ones, 
and 3 divides into 6 3 times and 3 divides into 12 I mean uh, sorry it's a mistake here so 3 divides into 3 once 3 divides into 6 twice and 3 divides into 12 four times so after that now you are supposed to multiply the the prime factors you're supposed to multiply the prime factors in the first column this column here so you multiply them so we have these are you frame the answer the gcd of 12 24 and 48 equals to 2 by 2 by 3 which is equals to 6 so you still get the same answer as uh, what we, what you got when we were using the time we used the listing method so that is how we find the GCD of given set of numbers using listing method and also using the successive division method. So by listing method, uh, you're supposed to find the GCD of the given numbers using the listing method and that is what we did in the previous example. So, using successive division, find the GCD of the following groups of numbers. So, we will only attempt the second one. And maybe possibly you can attempt the first one and post your responses in the comment section and be able to look at it. And then you'll be able to give feedback accordingly. So, I'll use successive division here. So, we have 60, 80, and 120. So common factor is 2. They are all ending in a 0. So we have 30, 40, and 60. This is the common prime factor 2. And then again, common prime factor here is 2. So 15 here, 20, and 30. And then now we have 3 no. The number 20 here is not divisible by 3. If you sum up the digits, 0 plus 2 is 2. So 2 is not a multiple of 3. It's not uh, divisible by 3. So I'll go for 5. Remember, we are only using the prime numbers here. Yes. So do not ask, why am I not using 4? So we are only using the prime numbers. So if 3 is not possible, I'll proceed to 5. Because they are all divisible by 5. Remember, number is divisible by 5 if the last digit is either 0 or a 5. So you can see here the last digit is 0. Here the last digit is 0. And here the last digit is 5. So 15 divided by 5 is 3. 15, uh, 20 here divided by 5 is 4, and uh, 30 here divided by 5 is 6. So here you are not able to find a common prime factor. You see, So when you reach that level, now you multiply this. So you multiply all that. So this is how you're framing the answer. GCD of 60, 80, and 120 equals to uh, so that equals to 2 by 2 by 5, which is equals to 4 by 5, which is equals to 20. So that marks the end. We have uh, a, f a question here to help you with understanding. You are supposed to find the GCD of 120, 150, and 300. So you can use any of the methods or both, if possible, you can always post, post the, the working on the comment section and be able to look at it and give feedback accordingly. Otherwise, that marks the end. Goodbye.